this video is going to show you how to find your statistics in the graphing calculator versus Desmos to find your five number summary. So the first thing we want to do is plug in all of our data points into our calculator. To do that, we're going to go to our stat key. This is for our statistics where we plug all of our values in. So we press stat, we're going to edit. So we have multiple things. So this is editing our list, this is calculating information, and this is for testing statistics, like hypothesis testing. So we're going to edit our first list. We have one list of numbers, so we're going to put it into our L1. So we're going to type in 48, enter, 56, enter, 64, enter, 64, enter, 68, 70, 72, 72, 80, and 92. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points. And if we look at our last number 92, it'll say L1 of 10. So that's list 1 of, so number 10 should be number 92. And that's what we had. So we have our list in there. Now we want to go and calculate our statistics. So we go back to our stat key for statistics. We want to calculate. So we press the right arrow key. And we want our one, since we only have one list, we want one variable statistics. So we're going to press enter on our one variable statistics. We want to make sure our list is in the correct location. We did put all of our values in L sub 1. That means that it's in the correct list. We don't have anything with frequency list. We're going to go down to calculate. So we have our one variable statistics. X bar represents the mean. So this is the mean of all of these data points. So X bar would be 68.6. The sigma X, so this is a big sigma X, is the sum of all of your data points. So if I did 48 plus 56 plus 64 all the way through, I would get 686. And then if I divided it by 10, because that was how many points there were, that's how we get our mean. So we have down here N equals 10. That's the number of data points. So that is helpful to know that Sigma, the big E, Sigma X, is adding up all of the data points, so you get 686, and if we find the mean, we would add them all up and divide by how many we have. That's 686 divided by the number 10, which is what gave us 68.6. So that is your mean. If you scroll on down, we have other things in here. These are your standard deviations for sample and population. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, down below, you see there's a little arrow here saying there's more to it. You have your five number summary down here. So we have n equals 10 tells you how many data points we have. Our five number summary is your minimum, your Q1, your median, your Q3, and your maximum. So our minimum is 48, which is what we had here. Our Q sub 1 or our Q1 quartile 1 is 64. The median, so in the middle, is 69. Q3, so quartile 3, is 72, and our maximum number is 92. Now we can see our minimum and we can see our maximum, but because this is an even amount of values, we actually have to calculate the median. So if we wanted to calculate that, we would cross off the, since these are in numerical order, we would go starting from here, we'd go backwards 1 and forward 1, backwards and forward 1, backwards and forward 1, we have these two numbers left. We need to know the middle of 68 and 70, which is 69. So in order to do the Q1, we know that this would be our median. Q1 is the middle of your lower bound, or your lower um, half. So we have 68 and 48, then we have 64 and 56, and then 64 is your Q1, which is right here. Your Q3 is the median of your upper half, so we have 70 and 92, and then 72 and 80, and then 72 is the middle of your upper half, which is what we have here. So this is how we find our five number summary on the calculator versus having to do it by hand, especially if we have a very large set of numbers. This is very um, simple in the calculator and it gives it to you exactly as you need it. So these are your five numbers. It tells you multiple information. So again, if you go to your stat, you type in your list, whatever it is. It can be in numerical order or not. You just type it in, and it does it for you. So then you type into L1. We go back to the stat key, and we want to calculate. And it's that one variable statistics, because this is just one list. We just press Enter, and we want to calculate it. And it gives us all the information we need. It gives us our mean, 
our summation, our standard deviations, how many numbers we have, and then our five number summary. So that will help us with our box plot.